Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I wanted to bring you guys a quick video about tomorrow's Proton launch. Proton will be carrying the new multi-purpose module for the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Like all Proton launches, this mission will launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. T0 for this launch is 8.58 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. At T0, the six engines on the first stage of the Proton rocket will be ignited and the rocket will lift off the pad. Now, an interesting fact about Proton is that those are not strap-on boosters mounted to the first stage, but instead externally mounted oxygen tanks. Once the first stage has used up all its fuel, it will be jettisoned in a process known as hot staging, similar to the way the second stage of the Soyuz rocket is jettisoned, at which point the second stage will continue on towards space. But eventually, the second stage too will have used up all of its fuel, and it will be separated using a series of retro rockets to push it away from the third stage and the spacecraft. With the third stage now carrying the spacecraft towards orbit, the fairings are no longer needed to protect the space station module, and they too are jettisoned. And about nine minutes after launch, the new space station module has made its way to space. Once it's in orbit, the space station module will separate from the third stage of the Proton rocket and begin making its way to the ISS under its own power. A few days later, on Friday, July 23rd, back at the ISS, the Progress MS-16 spacecraft will undock from the space station and carry with it the Piers module, which is currently docked to the port that will later be occupied by this new space station module. Undocking is scheduled for 9.15 a.m. on Friday, July 23rd. After undocking from the space station and backing away, Progress will carry out its normal deorbit burn. The only difference is this time it will also have Piers still attached, and Progress and Piers will both burn up on reentry. On the morning of Thursday, July 29th, the new space station module will approach the space station. Using its own thrusters, it will approach the bottom of the Russian segment of the space station and autonomously dock with the port recently vacated by the Piers module. And docking is scheduled for 9.25 a.m. on Thursday, July 29th. So what exactly will this new space station module be doing? Well, like its name suggests, it is a multi-purpose module. It'll serve as a new laboratory for the Russian segment, as well as a lot of other purposes. One of the most notable features in this new module is a brand new airlock for the Russian segment, which will be supplementing several other airlocks that they already have on that half of the space station. So if you want to keep up with the launch of this brand new space station module, I'll leave some links down below that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel, where they will livestream the launch, the undocking of the Piers module, and the docking of the new module. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter, where I'll post up-to-date information on this mission, as well as other upcoming events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about this new space station module, the International Space Station, Proton, or anything else in spaceflight, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them there. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.